Hello, my name is Susie Stevenson, and I'm the author of Designing and Hooking Primitive Rugs by Schiffer. It's this book right here. Today, I'm at Halcyon Yarn in Bath, Maine, to show you how to hook rugs with yarn. First, um, I want to talk a little bit about um, what I've done so far in my previous 20 years of hooking, and that is that I've used recycled wool clothing. The problems now are that we don't have a lot of wool clothing around, it's becoming scarcer. And um, the wool that says it's 100% wool, if you buy it new, sometimes it's not. Um, so what happens when we run out of wool clothes to recycle? And you know, I could hook uh, 100 years and I don't think I'd ever run out of uh, recycled wool. But I'm playing around now with recycling and with hooking with yarns and rovings and I absolutely love it. Um, there's so many alternatives and so many um, just, you know, yarn is so easily readily available. This rug is called the Menagerie and it's a, a bunch of photos, a bunch of drawings that my kids did um, from the time they were very tiny and older. And I said to them, you can't put every rug that every picture that you draw on a rug, so I'm going to put them all together. And so I put them helter skelter all over this, and I had a marvelous time hooking this. And every time I got sick of doing the antique black in the background, I would put in another animal. So this is, you know, a lot of years of all of my kids' drawings, and we also all put their hands on it, so you can see some of the hands. Um, around and mine actually does fit um, but you know they're all there so they were tiny when they started doing this one so, and it took me about five years to hook it because it was so heavy that I started hooking other stuff in the meantime <laughs> in the tradition of uh, rug hooking um, when people didn't have cameras to take pictures and they wanted to capture their beloved pets uh, they put them on a rug. And so that's what I did here with my cat Max and put him on a rug and just wanted to show you this because I no sooner got it done and he did die and so now I have a record of this wonderful cat. I tend to hook the colors of the seasons and right now I just finished this rug. Um, it doesn't even have a name yet but um, I really like the colors of it it has yarns in it as well as wool clothing. They were all dyed for other projects and I just went out to my studio and just picked and pulled until I got stuff that would fit it. I think of this rug as being a really good cottage rug, being the colors that it is because it looks fun and playful. I also want to show you that I hit date 2011 here and I decided to put my whole name in it, not just my initials. My family's all from Maine, but they moved up to Nova Scotia when I was 11. So the ocean is really, really important to me, and it comes through in a lot of my rugs. This rug I call Sea Maid's Music, and um, I had to write a poem about them, about the, the mermaids that were in this. Um, I really like the fact that I put myself in here swimming. I don't have a tail, but I'm there. Nobody sees it, but I'm there. And then each one of these women represents a different woman in my life that's um, had influence over my life. So I know each one and what they've done for me, and I'm grateful to them all. One more thing about the hair on these. The, it's all mohair or um, raw sheep's wool, hand dyed, and all the dyes were gotten right here at Halcyon. Um, but I hooked it in and then I needle felted them in with the little needle so that it would stay but um, I do use this rug on the floor and it's been on the floor ever since I finished it four years ago and I vacuum it too so all of them I use but um, the hair takes a little bit of uh, damage on that. <laughs> it's a nice hot August day and I thought I'd put on my coat to show you that you don't have to make rugs only with rug hooking. Um, I designed and hooked this uh, a few years ago and I wear it for my winter coat 
it weighs five pounds, so you don't wear it when you go to any weigh-in or anything important like that. But I wanted to show you that not only is it all hooked, but that the interior of it is all done with sayings and then with the labels of the clothing that I used to hook it with. And this coat this fall will be at the Farnsworth Museum in a display of contemporary rug hooking artists. All those rugs that I've just shown you are in my book um, and lots of other ones too. That's just a kind of a sampling of the ones that are there. Um, my newer work, this one is called I Love You Au Natural <laughs> and it's done with um, hand spun sheep's wool that's in natural colors. And so I wanted to see how it actually wears on the floor. And so it's been there, and I've been using it, and so far, so good. This summer, when I went up to Nova Scotia, I walk every day on the beach, and um, I pick up all of these. We call them moon snails, and I think they're also called nautilus shells. And I put the shell on the rug and tried to get the shape of it just so, but I wanted to get the beach on the inner part. Uh, this is all hooked with um, yarns and recycled clothing and raw uh, mohair locks in here to show the rocks. It was really an awful lot of fun to do with all of the different textures. Um, I also want to see how well it wears, and so far it's wearing very, very well. We do a lot of sailing here on the coast of Maine, and boats and water are really dear to me, so I hooked this one. And it's all hooked with yarns completely, except for this is with the rovings. Um, hand dyed, it's an awful lot of fun to hook it. And just a small piece, I want to, you know, I just want to see how it's going to look on the wall. The piece you just saw of the boat is a big experiment for me, but also it is, I'm going to do a larger piece that's round that's based on. Um, John Macefield's poem, I Must Go Down to the Seas Again. And so I wanted to work with those fibers and try to figure that out. This is another study, but of course totally different, of a mermaid coming out of the sea and becoming a woman. And she's saying goodbye to her friend. And this was all done with yarns. And then this, her hair was um, mohair locks dyed and hooked. I didn't needle felt those, but I could have. There's little bits of gold threads in here, and I love the, the mohair, the three-dimensional effect of it.